Hello, this is Dr. Tom with a presentation on uh, NCES problem number 61. Uh, this particular problem is on thick wall pressure vessels, so uh, let's get started. Okay, the uh, NCS solution is straightforward if, uh, if the equation that's used was familiar. Well, it is not, and therefore has been a source of great many questions, confusion by all of our participants as to where did it come from? Uh, the DTC presentation that we're going to do here is going to show you at least one way the equation in the uh, solution was obtained. It was actually suggested by a uh, previous participant who passed. Okay, basically the, the problem involves a hydraulic cylinder with an internal pressure uh, given the allowable stress and that it's not a thin wall cylinder stated in the statement of the problem. Determine the required wall thickness of the cylinder and that would be uh, symbol T and that's going to be the outside radius minus the inside radius. Uh, we have to assume in parentheses there, the internal pressure must be assumed to be gauge. Also, the outside of the cylinder must be assumed to be at atmospheric uh, pressure or zero gauge. And there's no figure provided with the, uh, with the exam, practice exam. So we're kind of on our own there. Okay, the NCS solution simply uh, involves substituting the given information into the following equation, T equals RI times the square root of sigma theta plus P uh, divided by sigma theta minus P minus 1, where the uh, sigma sub theta is the allowable stress that's given and P is the internal pressure. However, um, the origin of the formula is not provided, nor could I find it in any of my textbooks or references, and it's not in the uh, reference handbook, so I'm not sure what, to, what we would do uh, with this uh, if they did not give it to us. But uh, after much discussion in the forum, uh, one of the participants uh, realized at least one way that we could uh, obtain this formula, and it's sort of a, an interesting exercise, so that's why we're going to do it. We start with the equation for the tangential stress, sigma sub t, which is really theta sigma theta, in a thick wall cylinder with an internal pressure p sub i and a zero gauge external pressure p sub zero. And that's the equation here uh, we, that we presented before, uh, presented before, and this is actually it, a form of it is in the reference handbook. So we've got PRI squared over R0 squared minus RI squared plus this term 1 plus R0 over R, and R is the variable uh, radius uh, that you have, uh, quantity squared. However, because we're looking for the maximum tangential stress uh, and it occurs on the inside of the cylinder, we're going to set that R equal to the inside radius R sub I. Okay, this gives uh, the maximum stress. Uh, we're going to label it now instead of sigma sub t, sigma sub theta, uh, which is what it is in the NCS solution. And we're going to get a common denominator for the term in the brackets. So the uh, 1 plus R0 over RI quantity squared is going to become RI squared plus R0 squared divided by RI squared. And that ri squared in the denominator is going to cancel the one in the numerator uh, after the piece of i, so that will go away. And we're going to uh, change uh, the, uh, the piece of i to just a capital P. So this is what we're left with now. Okay, repeating that equation from the previous page, uh, we uh, are going to then uh, rearrange it. We're going to multiply uh, through uh, the R0 squared minus RI squared, multiply both sides and, and get sigma theta times that. We'd be left behind as P times the RI squared plus R0 squared. We'll expand both sides. Sigma theta times R0 squared minus sigma theta times RI squared equals uh, P RI squared plus P RO squared. And if we collect terms in R0 and RI, we'll have a, a sigma theta minus P times R0 squared equals sigma theta plus P times RI squared. Well, you can kind of begin to see how this is going to close in on what we're after. So again, repeating the equation from the bottom of the previous page. 
We can rearrange by uh, dividing both sides by the sigma theta minus p, and so we get r0 squared equal ri squared times this term that appears under the square root, at least in that given equation. So we are closing in fast here. And in fact, uh, go on and do that, take the uh, square root of both sides so that we now have r0 is ri times the square root term. And remember, the wall thickness was uh, R0 minus Ri. So substituting in what we just found for R0, Ri times the square root term minus Ri. If we factor out the uh, Ri, we get the, uh, the quantity Ri times the uh, square root term minus 1. And that's the equation that's uh, at the start. Uh, substitute the, the two pieces, the information that's given to us. And uh, uh, the answer A um, comes out uh, quickly. So I hope this has been uh, worthwhile to show, uh, show where this comes from. Uh, it helps uh, do some algebra and some things like that. But uh, again, this, is, this equation is not in the reference handbook, so uh, not sure what they would do if they gave you such a problem in the uh, exam. But it is in the practice exam. Okay. Well, that concludes this presentation. As always, we appreciate you allowing us to help you prepare for this exam.